Okay, a quick video. We call this uh, sequential sequencing using a stages. I've got all my stages set to orange. I got all my little dials up here turned all the way counterclockwise. And I got all my sliders all the way down. The stages will be a sequential switch. It'll be a sequencer. And it'll be a sample and hold. It can do all of these things with the orange little stair step stage. Um, this patch is kind of messy right now. What I've got is three different synth voices. I've got Zero Coast. I've got the Sputnik. And I've got the Black Wave Table. And these are set to fire, well, I'll go into detail with that here in a second. I've got three different eight-step sequencers going. I've got an eight-step on Renee set up. I've got Popcorn. And I've got one coming out of Brain Seed. And some of that you can see, some of it you can't. Um, the sequence from Renee. I'm going to turn on the zero coast here. That sounds a little something like this. And the one from the Brain Seed. And the one from Popcorn. get the idea there. What I'm going to do is use stages as a sequential switch and I'm going to consolidate those three sequences. So patching from right to left, I'm going to start with popcorn. I'm going to plug this into one of these CV inputs right here. Then I'm going to plug in my brain seed sequence here. And I'm going to plug in my Renee sequence here. But I'm going to plug in, I've got a copy of it right here that I've split off. Because I want the Renee sequence to happen for two bars or two steps, then followed by the brain seed and the popcorn. So how I'm going to do that is... Zero Coast is firing off what I like to call every one step of the sequence, just based on how the clock division works. So that's every step. And then, of course, the uh, then the Sputnik is like every two steps. And the wavetable is every eight. I'll get to why I'm using three different synth voices here in a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have a separate gate coming out here that's every eight steps. And I'm going to plug that into this front gate input right here on channel three of stages. That way three, four, five, and six are all tied to this, this gate right here. And you can see them light sequentially here. That's all three, or rather four of my sequences, all going one at a time. Renee twice, then Brain Seed, then Popcorn. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll turn on the Zero Coast. I'm going to patch an output from here. Let's hear what that sounds like. I'll wait for this to come around here to the first step. A consolidation of three different sequencers. Well, the reason why I've got three synth voices is in this particular patch, I'm going to use these four channels of stages as a sequential switch going through my different sequencers. 
but then I'm going to use these front two channels as a sample and hold. A sneaky trick for doing sequences to kind of add more where there actually isn't is to sample or hang a note and hold on to that note. So it sounds like you're getting extra notes when actually you're not, but well, I'll explain what's going on here. Okay, before I get started, I'm going to take the main sequence we had going here. And I'm going to run that through a buffered mult. So I'm going to make some copies of that. Use the buffered mult here on the links. I got a copy here going to the Sputnik. I'm going to put a copy back over here into the Zero Coast. And then I'm going to run a copy out to the black wave table. Now if you remember the uh, black wave table, that one pings every eight steps and the Sputnik pings every two steps. Well, what I want to do is I want to, instead of grabbing part of the main sequence and have it kind of blathering on even though the note hasn't gone away, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. It's catching piece of the main sequence. I just want to hold that one note. That's where my sample and hold comes in. So what I'm going to do, I have a copy of that clock for the Sputnik right here. So I'm going to plug that into this channel right here. I'm going to take the, uh, the sequence I had split off from the Sputnik. I'm going to plug it into here into the CV. So it's going to sample a note from the CV when this gate comes in. And then I'm going to run a little patch cable here from that output into the Sputnik. So now it's only going to sample a note on the gate and it's going to hang on to that note. It should sound something like this. If I run that with my main sequence, it sort of sounds like polyphony. It isn't really, because I'm just picking those notes off the main sequence. But it's a way to add a little something extra, you know, without adding another sequence. All right, let's finish off by doing that with the black wave table got a copy of its gate right here, so I'm going to plug that into the gate input. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to take its volt per octave from the main sequence here that I've split off, and then run a patch cable. Oh, this is getting busy. So here's the black wave table. Sputnik. And the rest of my sequence. I'm going to try adding some glide just for fun here to one of these stages. Okay. That's interesting. Pretty busy patch here, but here I've utilized stages as a four-step sequential switch and two sample and holds to control CV for pitch. <laughs>